today, my friends, we've got games, we've got comics, we've got hardware, we've got Welsh dragons, but bigger than anything, we've got the generosity of YouTube. Let's check it out. Well, it has been a long week, but at last, as you can see from The Dancing Man, it is the weekend and it is time to partay. So uh, yeah, welcome aboard. This week, I'm gonna be going through, yeah, a few bits and bobs, you know, what I've been up to in terms of the channel, some fantastic gifts that have arrived, um, some other kind of pickups, and a couple of other bits at the end. So yeah, stay tuned. Firstly, I wanted to, I guess, extend a bit of a, you know, big, big thanks to um, a couple of live streams that I've been on uh, in recent weeks. So um, the first one was Universal Shabby Reviews, who do a fantastic Friday night live stream. They've all individually got their own channels, but collectively on a Friday night, the powerhouse, they all come together with a huge, huge audience, people watching. Um, they get a couple of guests. I was lucky enough to be... Uh, yeah, it's kind of be, you know, tapped up and said, you want to come on? I was like, blimmin' out, I couldn't believe my luck. Had a whale of the time with the uh, with the guys. Unfortunately, Tez was on his on his holes, um, so I didn't get to meet him. Um, but his kind of substitute for the night was the, you know, equally fantastic and lovable um, Luke from uh, Reynolds Reviews, who I've had a bit of, you know, banter with over masks, I mean, you know, kind of mask stuff, Star Wars, love his channel. Um, so that was really, really cool to, to kind of meet those guys. A bit of a show and tell, you know, going through what we each, you know, picked up um, over recent days, you know, talk about, you know, Star Wars, uh, you know, uh, He-Man, latest toy lines coming out, you know, it was it was tremendous fun, got to meet loads of people, um, and yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. Uh, and that same weekend, that was the Friday, then on the Sunday, um, I joined Retro Chef's Swap Shop. And again, it was, yeah, fantastic. Obviously focused mainly about games, albeit you know, smuggled in a few little cheeky toys um, to, to talk to. But yeah, so there was, there was Lee, um, Scott, uh, Sega Zombie. I'll leave details to all the channels um, in the description to, to this one. There was Fob, who's a you know, regular on the channel. Awesome collection. Lovely guy, all, all blooming lovely guys, but yeah, fantastic stuff. Um, Eddie from Rollercore. Uh, Rob, another Rob, um, Gernardino plays, um, trying to think I've left anyone, I think, yeah, I think that was it, so it was, yeah, it was, it was fantastic, uh, kind of exchanged a few bits, did a bit of a trade with, um, Scott Sega Zombie, so yeah, a few bits on the coming, coming through, so, uh, I'll, uh, talk to them on a, on an upcoming video, but yeah, that was, that was awesome, so yeah, cheers Lee, thanks for inviting me and, and having me on. So that was the two streams. Uh, I want to say a big thank you um, also to Steve from Cooper's World. Uh, and Steve, congratulations, you won, uh, you know, last month's YouTuber of the of the month. So massively well-deserved. The guy has done so much to bring the community together. He's always putting out, you know, videos to promote other YouTube channels, you know, often kind of smaller, mid-sized ones that just aren't getting that visibility. So he is, he is a man after my own heart. Um, yeah, love the guy. So yeah, he uh, he was the winner. Um, and if you're the winner, you get to nominate uh, I think it's five people for the for the next month. And uh, he kindly put my name forward. So yeah, thanks a million, Steve. And uh, yeah, again, I'll leave details to his channel in the in the description. Um, but yeah, so I guess coming on to some some gifts. And the the first one um, is from a guy I've you know pretty much known since starting up on the uh, on the YouTube, an awesome uh, Welsh fella who kind of, I think him and a couple of others tracked down my my channel, him, um, Feed Me Chicken, Mark, the Geordie Slasher Gaming. Um, I got to kind of know them fairly early on. And uh, yeah, having you know, have a bit of banter over WhatsApp and all that stuff, awesome. He always comment on his videos. He kindly watches my silly vids, vids and always kind of comments on them. Uh, and he sent me a message and said, look, I've got a few, you know, if you're doing a bit of a sort out, I've got a few things. Um, I'd like to, to chuck, chuck you away. And I thought, that's, you know, really, really nice. Offered you know, some money, some postage. And he's like, no, 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 that's that's cool. So um, I pinged him something in um, in return, which was a bit of a tatty copy of um, SCI, like the, the Chase HQ sequel for the, for the Master System. Um, so I pinged that 
and then this bloody box turns up like a big I dismantled the box it was freaking huge um this big old box turns up and uh i kind of recognized the i guess the the post mall if it's bloody bloody called um so i knew where it was coming from and um, i opened it up and there's literally my desk is just full of um full of bits the guy is just like super super generous i knew he was super awesome but it's just kind of blown my mind and kind of yeah really really kind so um yeah thank you steve so yeah retro red steve um you are the guy so yeah i, th I thought i'd go through some of the bits which um he kindly put in this in this box it's oodles of comics uh, he knows I love you know comics, graphic novels, and stuff. Um, I won't labour on on each one, otherwise it'll be like a ten hour video. Um, we've got like Justice League, um, and some of them, yeah, you know, some of them are pretty, pretty dated. You know, they're not new comics. Daredevil. Um, look at that Galactus on the back. Bloody huge. Pretty cool. Uh, Nightwing, fantastic character. Um, featuring Batgirl, all nicely, really like pristine condition, very well looked after. Um, got three comics here from the Secret Wars series. One, Captain America, the old shield ski. And the third one, I think it's, yeah, Dr. Octopus. Awesome. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I've just picked like a handful, um, a couple of, you know, even older ones. So Avengers, uh, West Coast, and I love, as well as reading the actual comics themselves, I love looking at the, you know, the adverts, the kind of the promotions and, you know, what was going on at the time. So as well as being able to, you know, pick up your, your back issues, um, yeah, Batman's Re Batman Returns, um, what else have we got in here? Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare, Super Nintendo. So yeah, kind of just steeped with, you know, a bit of history. And then this one, very recently, it's another bloody rabbit hole, but I've started collecting um, G.I. Joe. Nothing like too old. They've, they've started to, you know, re-release, you know, reproduce um, some of the figures, a bit of modern, modern twist and the packaging. The amount of accessories you get with G.I. Joe. It's just, it's just really, really cool. So I've got a few of the toys, um, but he sent me a G.I. Joe Special Missions um, comic, and it's an oldie, you can tell it based on the, on the price. Um, very, very cool. Yeah, I opened it up. A cheeky little advert for the, for the NES. So, um, so yeah, that was all the comics he sent, but it doesn't, it doesn't end there. Um, sticking with the Marvel, Theme, like Avengers, um, fantastic. The wallet, I do actually need a, um, a replacement wallet. My one's like so tatty. So I might, I've done an unboxing, so I'll, uh, I might actually be using that. Um, 360 game, so yeah, Need for Speed, Rivals. Um, I haven't got very many 360 games at all, so um, yeah, awesome. Really looking forward to, uh, to checking that one out. He then branched into bloody time wear so clocks transformers um but it's one of those what you blooming call it the lenticular so you kind of move it a little bit and you, you've gone from the uh, you know the autobots with optimus prime and then um decepticons a nice ugly picture of the uh, or a nice picture of the ugly megatron um appears but this is yeah this is well cool well cool and uh yeah and if that time all goes to to part then as well as the clock, I've got the watch. And I've got to say, Bumblebee was my, has always been uh, my favourite character. And uh, it's just like, it's awesome. It's a bulky bad boy if I ever was to open it. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure um, if, I'm, if I'm going to. I've kind of been trying to find even more space on the, on the wall in this room. So I've been like whacking up nails and hanging stuff up. So this might, uh, might have to be presented on the, uh, on the wall. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fully unfold this, but like, yeah, Batman. Yeah, there we go. It's like a, it's having a Christmas stocking. It's like a Christmas bloody sack. You could fit friggin' Father Christmas in this thing. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. So I'll, uh, I won't be, I don't think I'll be giving it to Finn. I'll be keeping it for myself, handing it to my wife and just saying, fill her up. But, uh, yeah, that's mega. That is mega. 
And then last, but certainly not least, he knows I love a bit of Star Wars. Who doesn't love a bit of Star Wars? But yeah, episode one, got to say the coolest um, character. And at some stage, hopefully Darth Maul will be popping up on my little uh, Pixu thingamajig. But yeah, Darth Maul, episode one. Um, you've got like the Comtech chip, which you can put into a device. Um, and it'll say a few evil, evil words. You've got his, yeah, you've got his nice saber. Really cool. I haven't got this one. Uh, in fact, I haven't really got very many of the, uh, of the episode one, was it nine, about 1999? Um, yeah, I think they, they came out. So, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. So, Retro Red Steve, you are the man. Huge thanks. Like, mind has literally been blown. It's quite emotional going through this stuff when it came through. Had a bit of a long, long day at work, lots of other shitty things um, on the go. And this was just like an absolute pure blooming delight. And again, uh, without going too cheesy, kind of you know, testament to how fantastic this whole blooming community is. And, and the fact that someone, you know, I've known kind of, you know, a few, few months would, would do something like this is just like, it's just incredible. Um, so I've already, yeah, already kind of identified a few things which I'll be passing back in that lovely guy's direction to, uh, to even things out because that kind of cigarette ridden um, version of, uh, of SCI definitely does not equate to what, um, you know, has been, been sent even the emotional value of this stuff has just kind of blown my mind. So, so thank you, mate. Um, and then the other piece, someone I've mentioned a few times on the, on the channel and his kind of his company, he runs like an online um, web store um uh internet page on the on the on the size he's got a day job but gaming is his is his thing and it's nathan from every bit gaming again links uh, in the description um so you know periodically he'll pick some stuff up he'll put it out on you know social media quite often before it goes on the um on the website and there were some bits i was like let me know i wouldn't i wouldn't mind a bit of that i'm getting more and more into um, I've kind of always been into the Master System from when it came out. It was my first console I ever had. Then kind of sold it off about 10 years ago. I had the Master System 2, um, clocked up even more games. I didn't sell it off. I actually gave it to a guy who runs a fantastic local toy story. Um, toy story? Toy store even. Um, and he was getting into his retro. It was only about, it was about kind of 15. I was like, look, I wasn't really playing it um didn't have time and, and stuff like that I was like look here you go so i gave him um no like there wasn't any kind of rare games in there and i'm still absolutely chuffed to bits that i you know could give him this console but i kind of now back to square one and in the recent months just been trying to, apart from i think shinobi and a couple of other games um don't have much kind of master system but it's been growing the last, the last few weeks been growing and growing so that and mega drive as well um thanks i mean roggy uh, retro game as well he um, he gave me a couple of titles off the, uh, the back of the, the, the play it forward box. He did a kind of play it forward, more of a backhand with some gifts, which was fantastic. So Master System, Mega Drive, Stroke Genesis, whatever you want to blooming call it, um, back on the back on the radar. So anyway, I'm rambling on a bit. I had this exchange with with Nathan, said, look, there's some games in there I quite like. Um, and... Uh, and we can't, yeah, he sent some pictures, he does, he's awesome, he sent some pictures, I mean, some of them aren't in, and he's always up front, aren't in great condition, that's kind of reflected in the price, there's some ones in fantastic condition, um, and then he kind of presented an overall number, and I was like, it's almost, you know, a bit of reverse negotiation, I was like, that just feels a little bit low, he's like, no, no, that's cool, um, so that's all fantastic, not just good, it's fantastic, and uh, he's then like, look, I've got this kind of console, got a few of them, uh, which I kind of be modded playing with. It's not, you know, aesthetically, it doesn't doesn't look like a bloody princess, um, but it's still, you know, it's gonna, it's good. It plays the games, all works well. I was like, you sure, mate? I'll give you a bit of money. He's like, no, no, no. So again, I'm, I'm maybe struggling a little bit of ideas, but I'll come up with something to uh, to whack back in uh, in Nathan's direction. But again, it's a bit of it's an unbalanced, um, not a trade like a purchase really um, for this one because obviously I did I did give him some some money, but not nothing at all for this the console um so the, i'm really going to get into it now so the games sonic um and this is the probably going in the order of the most tattiest it's been in like a bit of a drug dealer's den someone's or wiping their ass on it i'm not entirely sure but i need the game and um inside I mean, the, yeah the manual's kind of okay-ish 
cards like really good, but I need the game. It's a cracking game. I'm not like, I'm not like a complete, I don't know, OCD about, you know, these, you know, stuff needs to be mint and all that. It's obviously, it's nice to have a good, good version. I'd rather have box, I'd rather, you know, be complete. Um, but the main thing to me is the game, but that's, I mean, that's awesome. And the, individually, the price he wanted was the square root bugger all. So that was cool. Um, but immediately the quality, um, not just of the, uh, not kind of doing Sonic a disservice, but the quality of the game and the, the box, um, and all the gubbins, I mean, R type, this is just like, this is beautiful, probably. Even my, um, I don't think it's 4K or whatever the bloody quality is on my on my phone, probably isn't doing it, so, you know, isn't doing it justice. You've got the hang tab. Such a nice copy of our type and such a bloody cracking game. Um, Castle of Illusion. Uh, Mickey Mouse with manual. Again, a bit better kind of tatty manual, but for the, for the money. Yeah, bargain is so super chuffed with that. Um, and we then we then move from eight to sixteen. We bring on the the, the Sega powerhouse um, or the Mega Drive. So we've got a couple of shooters. Um, first one here is complete. So Hellfire. Um, I love. I'm crap at them, but I do love a um, a good shooter. And there was uh, was it Shmup Junkie. Really, really cool channel. He did like a, I thought it was a bit tongue in cheek at first when I saw the, the title. When I watched it, I actually thought, I'm actually learning a lot from it. Um, he did like a bit of a tutorial how to kind of up your game as it relates to, to shmups. Um, and even bits in there, I keep them in quoting it, but if, if you've ever played like Cotton, the shooter, where you're the, the witch, whatever on, the, on your broomstick, quite often with shooters, the actual vulnerable part of your sprite is a lot smaller than the sprite itself. So you've got a little bit of tolerance and, um, but there's this, loads of little um, hints and tips within that vid but yeah Nathan this blooming game is fantastic um, without manual but again I couldn't couldn't possibly turn it down Thunder Force 4 this game is like I've got it on I'll fess up I've got it on like the uh, on the EverDrive I've kind of downloaded the um, or the, I think the ROM was already on it so I know everyone knows it's a cracking game but to have this in the collection is uh, is mega and this one, the deal on this one, it's almost like you chucked it in for, for free when you kind of work out the, you know, the combined prices, but Splatterhouse 2. Um, not with the hang tab, but, but who's going to grumble at the price, at the quality of that. I mean, that manual is a little bit creased there. The rest of it is, is really, really nice. Um... Yeah, the cart as well, it's looking, looking splendid. So, yeah, so I'm totally chuffed with that. But like I said before, he's like, look, I've got, I've got something else. Um, I've modded it because it's not going to work, you know, on a, on a power TV. So I've added some, some gubbins. Um, he's like, yeah, my electrical work isn't, you know, isn't tip top, but it'll pass. I think it's bloody brilliant. Um, and it's got the uh, it's got the yellowing of age, which again I'm not like that peroxide crap and all that kind of stuff. I I like a bit of history, I like a bit of dirt and nostalgia. Um, yeah, I've got bloody Famicom, Famicom in Essex. So uh, yeah, the 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 yellow gradient um, or yellowy brown gradient as you go through, but it's actually colour aside, it's a very clean um, copies kind of. I've done a little modding at the back so I can uh, I can plug it in. Um, yeah, I just uh, I've, I've got the it's probably hidden away down there, but I've got like any you know the NES, the Power NES. But I do love the look of the the Famicom. Basically, like the love the look of any console I've bloody got. But just the way it's kind of wired in at the back, the little holders. Um, I have got a few games, some of which I, I bought from um, from Every Bit Gaming from from Nathan. Just because they look Japanese carts, just look awesome. So I've got quite a few games to play on it. Um, they're already. It's just, uh, yeah, I made up. I haven't, I haven't actually um, plugged it in yet because of work and other mundane crap. But this weekend, this thing is going to get um, an airing. It's going to be absolutely loved, adored, and, um, and played. So, so yeah, going to grab a few games. 
and get going on that. So massive thank you, Nathan. That was a deal of the century for me. I am going to do something back in in return because uh, uh, I need to even this one out. It's going to play on my conscience. Otherwise, I feel like a complete bastardo. So um, I'm going to going to sort it out. There's Darth Maul bringing it on. Um, there he is again. What a dude. What a dude. So you had to do a bit of a list because there's, there's, there's a few bits to kind of cover off. So we've spoken about the live streams. We've spoken about the gifts and, and fantastic trades, uh, which is cool. Um, so, yeah, I think the, the only kind of other bit I wanted to say was a bit of a shout out to a newish channel called Retro and Import Gamer UK. Um, the guys, I think he's only been going for like a few weeks, um, you know, subs. Um, he needs some healthy help from the community with with his subs. So again, links um, will be in the description. But yeah, phenomenal. He's got like this kind of like hardware console wall behind him. And I know there's some people with fantastic games rooms and stuff that would absolutely make mine look like a load of shit. Um, so there's some fantastic things. Just but just the way it's kind of it's presented, the way that it's. Um, you know, by and large, it's all kind of you know foreign versions of of, of consoles. His collection um, pretty much goes back to I had a bit of little bit of banter with him uh, yesterday, and uh, it was like this is kind of a recent thing. Were you into PAL? Uh, he's like a UK based guy. Were you into kind of PAL stuff? And then more recently, you've you've gone into you know Japanese and ventured into um, export stuff. And he's like, no, I've just always loved the appeal um, of you know getting some some import games and uh, so even back in the day when his kind of you know mates were probably you know oogling over the um you know the pal what um you know super super nintendos the master systems um uh, mega drives etc you know he's more kind of genesis the famicom the super famicom but even like he did a video i think it was yesterday about you know ps1 japanese games he's got um and also you know like board games he's got of um uh, of video games like it's got an amazing collection um you know donkey kong i think they're like mb is it milton bradley games um but yeah donkey kong pac-man frogger i think um some more obscure ones as well but so fascinating so go and check him out is he needs so many more bloody subs uh, the youtube world is not right based on how many subs this guy has at the moment so as always check out his channel. I'm not going to do the hard sell because genuinely, I think if you watch a few of his videos and we're like, I like think we're like-minded people. If you're kind of, you subscribe to, to my channel, um, then I, genuinely, I think you'd love it. And by the end, you, no convincings needed. You should be subscribing away, but top guy, real genuine guy. So go and check that one out. Um, and that's it guys. So yeah, if you like thank yous today, if you amazing kind of gifts, toys to play with, comics to read, video games to beat, Let's hope. Um, but yeah, big thank you to everyone. Um, cheers for watching. It always means so, so much to me. Um, if you're not already subscribed, but you're enjoying this video, you're enjoying some other content, then of course I'd love you to subscribe. It's been free. Um, and if I put out, you know, a series of crappy videos or I, if I've hypothetically, I was to go off on a bit of a tangent you don't like, then of course you can just unsubscribe. It's, uh, it's your choice. It's, it's the free world. So yeah, and on that, have a really good weekend. I love you and leave you. See you on the next one. Cheers.